Hello everybody and welcome back to the Nuzlocke Season 2 mod lock. We are jumping in again. In our previous episode we played as regular Andromeda and we had a very good time but this time we are jumping in as the character that could end it all. The character that could cause us so much trouble. <laughs> the character that we could lose hundreds of points on. But anyways, we jump in. Our practices this guy didn't go so well, but this time we do have the completion marks enabled. And we're just going to try our best. We're just going to play it as best we can and hope that we don't have any too big mishaps with this dude. Because, yeah, as you can clearly see, he's got some crazy stuff going on. If you don't know much about the mod lock or you don't know much about what this character's got going on, please go back and watch some of the previous episodes. They explain everything. And also you can check out the description as well for the leaderboards and for some description of what the hell's going on with this mod lock thing that we got going on. But yes, as for the question of the day today, as for the question of the day today, what um what game are you playing right now and why? I've asked this question a few times, but it's always interesting to hear again. It's always interesting to to get an update on what people are playing because obviously trends change. I'm sure a few of you out there will be playing Cult of the Lamb. It came out recently. It's a fantastic game. I've been playing it myself, playing it on YouTube, and it is... It is really something. It's 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 really a, a very very good game. Um, it'd be interesting to hear what you guys think of it, and also yeah, what other games you might be playing as well. Because it's cool to just get some recommendations sometimes here and there. Uh, but yeah, Cult of the Cult of the Dead God. Uh, De De I keep calling it Cult of the Dead God, but that's a different game, um, or at least similar name to a different game. Uh, but what I mean is Cult of the Lamb. And I've been, yeah, I've been loving it. It's it's so fun. It's always, a, yeah, it's always, like, fun to just play another game. And especially when a big roguelike comes out, it's always just great. It doesn't happen that often. I think the last the last one that I kind of remember was uh, Hades. Oh, do you know what? That's actually a really good trinket for us here. Yeah, I think the last one that I remember was Hades. We, of course, want to be trying to get um, as many consumables as possible here. We don't need to go to our item rooms. That room is whatever. We can leave it. I'd like to maybe go secret room here, but I don't know if we'll manage it. I don't actually know where it is. In fact, let's just do a little bit of due diligence and check to see if we can see where it might be. It could be there, but I don't want to risk my bomb. I'm going to risk my bomb. I'm going to risk my bomb. It's here. Good. And we got some pills. We'll use all of these. It could be treacherous, but it gives us charges. Retro. Okay, not too bad. Retrovision is a little annoying, but otherwise not too bad. And we'll get a charge from our boss that we can use in our secret room to get a secret room item. Could be potentially huge. Oftentimes they're not. Oftentimes it's not anything too good. But I always like to uh, give it a little bit of hope and, and pray that it is going to be something good. This guy, not a particularly easy boss um, just because of the spiders. Spiders are particularly hard enemies with um, with this character because they're a bit sporadic. He's already hit me once. He only hit me for half a heart so that's not too bad. But I don't want to make a habit of it. And then you can get out of my life. There you go. We unfortunately lost out on a really good item there. Um, it's always fun as a character like this that you, that you just can't get items for by picking them up like that. Anyways, it's just interesting to see what you would have lost regardless. So we can pop in here and we can create an item. It gave us a black heart and it actually does increase the capability of our black hearts, which isn't bad. But that's not a great item to see. We'd, we'd generally want something a little bit better than that. I think I'll go for mainly uh, item room items, like treasure room items from now on. And I'm, I might go for a few shop ones here and there. But yeah, as I, as I just said, the spiders aren't great for us here, so the cellar isn't a particularly friendly place. I'll be honest. But we can make it work. Definitely starting to develop a bit of a, a, bit of a sore throat. I don't know what it's from. Is it from talking too much, maybe? We've got a key there. We don't need to go into our item room, though. I'd very much like a bomb more than anything. Okay, knockback is great on this guy. It's pretty huge. Wanna come over here? There you go. A bomb would serve us so well right now. Okay, this is a particularly annoying, yeah, <laughs> room. Uh, that was annoying. I kind of felt that coming before it even happened. But hopefully this tinted rock will pair out with at least a soul heart. Do you know what? That's 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 pretty good too. That's pretty good too. I like that. The speed down is particularly worrying, but otherwise that is a good pickup. Unfortunately, not much we can get out of that. Good, good. Probably should have played that for the bomb behind the rocks there, but it's okay. But yeah, this guy really thrives on extra fire rate and extra damage, so I'm glad to have a bit of each. 
Okay, not a particularly hard boss again, but a boss that I'd much rather have a bomb for. But, you know what? Actually, our damage is crazy. I didn't realise our damage was this high. Damn. That wrecked the hell out of him. And then, yeah, well... Oh, we could take a Devil Deal, actually. Yeah, Empty Vessel is fantastic, actually. Get Invincibility, we get Flight, we got two Soul Hearts. The Flight itself is really awesome. And we get another item here. Cube of Rot's actually decent, we'll take that. Good stuff. I like this. Empty Vessel is huge. Destroy the poop, thank you. We want to grab these just for the consumables, really. I might even want to go and check out our shop. Yeah, my health now is, is making me much less worried. Right, let's check out the shop real quick. Just see if we can, I guess, see if we can buy a soul heart. It gives us charges, but also the health is pretty necessary. Secret room-wise, I'm not 100%. This could be it. I'm hoping it is. It's not, unfortunately. Um, and it could be between the... Um, could be here, too. There you go. Beautiful. And that's more pills. Again, I'm going to take them all. Tears up's great. Range up, shot speed down, that's really pretty good. And shot speed down, whatever. Okay. And away we go. We could try and get second secret room here. We'll see. I'd very much like to, actually, because an, an extra charge would be really nice. I could, of course, open this chest for an extra charge, but that is a little bit risky. Second secret room. Could be here. It's unfortunately not. Okay, we'll just leave that for now. Leave it for the next floor. Unless we can get something from one of these. There you go. Okay. And I think I'm going to go for a shop item here. I think I'm going to go for a shop item. I realize my low speed. I don't want to be dillying around too much. But shop items could be really good. There's quite a lot of them that aren't so good. So if we get something bad, it's, it is what it is. But stuff like that, that's really good. That's really good. If we get a good active to go along with that, that's really nice. And then anything else that we can get... Oh, did not mean to do that. I'm thanking God that it gave me a half soul heart back. It kind of sucked its way into me. Rude little bastard. Right. Down we go. This guy is just survival. I don't care about getting completion marks as this guy. It's all about how much we, how long we can survive for. Unfortunately, that wasn't a lot to get in one of those chests. I only did this room because there was more to garner from those chests. Cube of Rot here is going to save our ass every now and again. You can see it like teleports around to try and hit enemies. This is not, not a friendly uh, situation for us here. In fact, this is going to be a, a rather time-consuming process because really, really very difficult to hit these enemies in the positions they're currently in. It's, it's, it's near impossible, actually. <laughs> Good. Good, good, good. That was that was a pain. Luckily, we don't have to stand near these enemies to shoot them. Hey, more consumables. Just do everything we can to get as many consumables as we possibly can get. I'm so glad we got flight. Flight's huge for us. Perfect room for us here. I think we're just going to pop this. Blowing hourglass with 4.5 volt. Honestly, I will take that any day. That's actually a fantastic combo. It means we're going to get slowed down pretty regularly. It's not ever. It's not going to be all the time. It's not going to be like permanent. But we're going to get it pretty regularly. That's that's a combination I can get behind. We're probably getting pretty close to finding a planetarium. That was a really bad hit. That I was just trying to get over a rock. Okay, we have invincibility here. Let's use it. With Cube of Rot, we can use invincibility to do some extra damage. And poison like we can there. We're just looking for a soul heart. I will take that as well, because why not? That's decent. I'll hold on to that. But yeah, we really want to be using our glowing hourglass pretty much whenever it's ready. It's always going to be valuable. And it's just, I love playing Nuzlocke like this because the value, the value of things changes so, so much. Like, this combo, normally I'd be like, hey, it's all right. But now I'm like, this combo, holy hell. 
This allows us to get hit a lot less and not die. This combo is god is god tier. Um, honestly, I'd rather take a power pill right now. And honestly, I'd rather just use it right now so I can keep the card. Okay, so from this... Oh, we, we actually can't. I always forget that you still need to have a charge to utilize those. We can do that after the boss, though, if we don't get one from just walking around. Good. There's a dice room there, but I'm not too interested. Good. good. Probably not going to get a charge before the boss. The invincibility, it's so good. It saves our ass so much. Cube of Rock can get in there and do some work. Beautiful. Don't use that cooldown yet. Secret room? Yeah. Interesting secret room. Look down is whatever. That's a lot of look downs. Don't really care about shot speed down. This is charged up now. Let's quickly go and pop it so we don't waste. Actually, you can overcharge now. It doesn't matter. Another experimental pill. Tears down. Ah, bugger. It's okay, it's okay. Right, let's go pop Singularity in here. We can pop this twice in here if we do the boss as well, so we can do that. Mars, unfortunately, one of the worst ones, but not bad. It allows us to get into curse rooms, I think. I can never remember. Let's let's just let's just theory test this, because I can't remember. Yeah, it does cool. Oh well, no, we got flight. Wait a minute. What, 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 what am I on about? Don't see all my charges. Okay, yeah, it does cool. Okay, so at least for that, it's good. Otherwise, we might not get much use out of it, but at least for that, it's good. Why is my singularity not swirling anymore? What happened? I broke it. Okay, you take a beating here, please. I should get in there with my cube of rot while he's slowed, to be honest. The amount of damage that thing does is pretty nutty. But that is exactly why I didn't want to, because I got myself hurt already. Needs to like teleport further away. There you go. Okay, for bosses, this thing's great. <laughs> this setup's really good. And we can go and get another planetarium item. Although, no, it, it turns into a broken planetarium, so it's not a guarantee. Do you know what? I'm going to take a risk here. Try and get another secret room item. We got blank card. Hmm. <sighs> I don't know. This could be good. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. The slowdown's really good, but blank card is, is is an opportunity. It's not anything really great right now, but it's an opportunity. Spoders. Troll bomb. Spoders. Perfect. What I always wanted. So I can use this. Oh, that's a two-room charge. Okay, that's that's pretty fantastic. You could hit anything though. Could you, could you could you like hit this one enemy in front of me, please? Okay, that thing being on a two room charge is pretty amazing. By the way, just just let me check. Does chariot make you invincible? It does, doesn't it? Uh, tends to be an invincible and mobile statue. Yeah. Okay. Oh, unfortunately, we do have to wait until it's the effect is over every time though, which is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. But that's pretty good. That's that's probably better than the than the slowdown. Oh, thank you for giving me invincibility right there. I needed it. Didn't mean to Mars my way out of there then. Virus? Pretty decent for enemies that touch up against us. We're gonna take some contact damage and while we have invincibility too. Yeah, put ourselves in the center of the room and just... Oh, that's pretty wicked. It's going to waste some time because obviously we get stuck. But that's that's pretty good. Get 
getting that amount of fire rate. Thank you for the invincibility at that time, Liana. Very nice. But yeah, basically whenever we feel threatened... Oh, I fucking hate Mars. I did not mean to do that then. Whenever we feel threatened, just press spacebar, I guess. Whenever the room looks too tough or whatnot. Why'd I go in there? I always forget that you can't do anything with them. Definitely more health still. My health still isn't great. I would like more health, please. Okay, one moment. One second, guys. Okay, guys. I'm on the phone with a scammer right now, and I'm just going to play out this so you can hear. So what was that, sorry? What, what, what was it you were asking me? Okay. That's a really crazy deal, yeah. But for, for which phone? Just sim upgrade, okay. Okay, yeah. I'll I'll go for I'll go for a new phone and sim on sim contract. That sounds really good. Alright, thank you, yeah. You'll you'll transfer me. That's great, thank you. Waiting for the transfer now. See how long this takes. Hello? No, nothing yet. We'll see how long this takes. <laughs> I'm not Hey! Oh, I'm doing great, thank you. Oh yeah, can I have the iPhone 14, please? The, the S, the S model. Do you have that? Hello? Hey. Where did your colleague go? Oh, okay, you don't have the iPad 14. Which which model do you have? Okay, 13 Pro Max. That sounds really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. £30 per month. That sounds like a really good deal. Yeah, I'll definitely go for that one. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I am. I am interested in this deal. Okay. Sounds good, yeah. We got transferred back and then transferred back. Again. What's that, sorry? You'll call back you'll call me back in fifteen minutes. Okay, that sounds fantastic, thank you. You too. Oh, beautiful. Whoa, what the hell is going on my phone? In 15 minutes, they're going to ring me back with an offer for a phone. Yay. By the way, I get the scam call like twice a day. <laughs> the exact same one. They're always offering you a new SIM contract and a new phone. And I always run them right through the whole shebang. I get him to, like, transfer me. That, that they, they transferred me then, and then transferred me back to the same person I'd already been transferred to. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know how what, what they're doing, but <laughs> in about 15 minutes, they're going to ring back, and we can, uh, we can go through that call. I'll put them on speaker, and you guys can listen in, because it's funny. <laughs> the best Isaac content. I love messing with scammers. It's the best. I'm hoping they ask for my name. I always, I always tell them my name's Bob Scam, and it, sometimes they still fall for it. It's hilarious. Do we have an enemy left in this room? No, we don't. What's in the tainted treasure room here? 
Uh, nothing. I didn't expect that. Okay, um... Let's, uh, let's see if we can get enough to grab a tainted treasure there, shall we? That'd be really cool. I don't know what we'd replace out of the things we've got. As, as long as it's not empty vessel. It might be missing page two, actually, because the missing page two does have a, a variant. I think it's a flat damage upgrade, but um, a random chance for items to be replaced with Necronomicon or something along those lines, which is actually a pretty good deal for us, to be honest. I, I would definitely take that. We do also have our shop here too. Rather nice. Got speed up just to use it for the charge, to be honest. I should also try and destroy these fires. There you go. But yeah, hopefully they ring back swiftly and uh, <laughs> I asked for an iPhone 14. I don't even think an iPhone 14 exists. I have no idea. I just plucked a random number out my ass and they were like, we can't provide the iPhone 14. I'm like, well, yeah. I don't think it exists. It might exist, I actually don't know. But I don't think it does. Oh, I love messing with scammers. It's the best. It's so annoying as well, because it's not only like I get scam calls often. I get the same one from the same people. Like it's clearly the same people as well. Like I don't know how they keep doing it. Oh, this is, this is awesome. I can just keep it going as well. Oh, that's awesome. Ooh, do we want a Tainted Treasure or do we want a Devil Deal? I think we want a Devil Deal, actually. I think a Devil Deal will be hopefully more lucrative. And it was, although... Okay, thank God. I thought it might take away all my lives then. I shat myself. I thought it was going to take away all the hearts I had. Ho, 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 ho. It didn't. Thank God. Okay, down we go. Sorry, tainted treasure. I mean, I could, I could get a tainted treasure. Actually, let me, let me, let me try this. I'm already minus four in luck. I could just take a, a look down, do it that way. We have a look down pill over there. I think, as bad as it is, it'll work. There you go. We got it. But yeah, that's the chariot card. Is gonna be so good. Blank card was a good choice, most certainly. I didn't expect it to be a two-room charge for such a powerful item effect. I suppose it is an effect that only lasts during the room. Yeah, plus one black heart, damage up, future items have a chance to be replaced with the Necronomicon. As much as the Necronomicon thing could be a problem, I really need damage, so I'm going to take it. And it gave us a black heart too, which is pretty nice. We needed that too. I wonder how long it'll be before they call back. What is this thing that's playing on my phone right now? I have no idea. I apologize to you. Poor, poor people for having to listen to my crap. To be fair, that's just generally what my YouTube channel is. Whoa, Mars, why? I don't want that. Stop it, Mars. We need more range so we can like hit the whole room like this. This and the uh, Empty Vessel Invincibility are going to be really good for us. Like that look, there you go. Get in there. It seems that the Cuba Rock can charge up our active as well. With the damage it deals. Is there another poop around here? That Yes, there is. Get out of here. There's a chest there that's fading away. I just like the fact that we're invincible and stone, so the virus can actually, like, do quite a lot of damage. It's about to be over. Beautiful. Perfectly timed. Just a chest in here. Actually, that's... Aw, oh, Decay. D -d Decay trolled me there. Curse of Decay got me trolled. More look downs. It's just look down pills everywhere, as far as the eye can see. So some rooms we definitely don't need to use it in, and I, and I won't bother. But other rooms, it's going to be far more important. Devil, I'm just going to pop right now. Devil. Rooms like this, however. Hell yes. The one problem is, obviously, we need to move to hit certain enemies. Like, this guy, we, we just can't hit. There you go. Cube of Rock did a good job on him. 
Seems like a fairly long floor we got going on here. I should bomb that beggar, actually. Just for the chance of some consumables. Every little help for the charges we can get. Also, I should probably bomb some of these guys. Get some black hearts or whatever. We had a golden poop under there, apparently. Um, Do I need that? I don't think so. I, th I think I like what I've got right now. We're able to carry stuff from the other floors. I think that's really useful. Damn it, no black hearts. Big sad. Uh, excuse me, I don't want the left hand. Now this is a rather annoying room. I think I'm going to try and use mainly contact damage to take out these guys. There you go. Virus dude, a good job. I love it. Getting the virus was such a huge clutch. You see that? Oh, oh. sometimes there's enemies underneath the portal. That really annoys me. There's not much you can do about it. But it is, it is very frustrating when it happens. Oh, I didn't mean to use that. I meant to use that. Mask of Infamy! Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I should need to make sure I don't accidentally use my card at any point. That would be very sad. But yeah, Mask of Infamy is huge for us here. So good. 50% chance to not take damage? Yes, please. This is just kind of way out invincibility. Use Cube of Rock sort of room. Or just don't do either of those and there you go. Just kill them all normally. Cube of rock, go! Beautiful. Okay, we've gone the wrong way to the boss fight apparently. Have we already found the boss fight? No, we haven't. It's that one room back over that way. Um, We are on Dank Depths 1. Don't have to worry too much about that. More down through here. No lock, no more lockdowns, please. We're at minus four. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have to check out how this works. How many charges it ends up being. This could be insane. Okay, it is it is like eight, I think, that is. But that's really strong. I'm not sure if it's worth taking, but that's really strong. We do have a lot of damage, though, so it might be worth taking. Okay, we've got an angel deal here. Holy Grail, unfortunately, not so good for us right now. But of course, I'll take it. I, th I thought I'd fight this guy. I've now since regret that decision. I think I'll end up taking quite a lot of damage against him. I don't even know what, what would do. What would happen if I reflected the... Um, if I reflected this, I have absolutely no idea. I managed to do it without taking damage, which I think is pretty good going. And that means I have to do the second one. Doesn't mean I'll get away with it that easily again, but still. Oh, I did Mars there. I need to use Mars more aggressively, to be honest. It is actually really good. There you go. We got both of those. Good, good. I don't know. I think the glass is probably worth taking. But it's really good. Like, it's really, really good. So I think it's probably worth taking. Oh. Sorry, I'm having some water there. Let's hop down, yeah. I'm going to take the glass card. I have a feeling that could come in handy. You'll see what it does when we get to it, but it could be insane. It also allows us to charge Singularity faster if we want to use it that way as well. Um, we can... 
Hop in here and then charge out. Retrovision. Double retrovision is just like really, really good for us because it just charges. Okay. Triple pin going on here. So we don't get a super, super awesome boss fight. Whoa. What? I got hit there, apparently. I did not see that coming. I, it kind of came out of nowhere. I say that. It really didn't, but you know what I mean. Damn it. I was hoping for a secret room there. Oh, wait. I'm, I way missed where that should be. That doesn't matter. I, can't, I couldn't have got a secret room there anyways. Retrovision's messing me up a little bit here. Really? Really? That shot hit that? So now we can Singularity here. We get Muramycosis. And if we wanted two of those, we could get two. We don't need two Muramycosis, but we could get two. I think that's pretty gnarly. I think that's pretty amazing. And also we can do it with like hearts and stuff too. So if we find if we find a soul heart, it's always worth it to use the glass on it. Because we always get more value because it only takes half a heart. So in that way, we, we've got a pretty big buff there. Excuse me. Stop trying to take that. I don't want it. More of my curses here though. Pretty good. I like it a lot. It kind of fits our poisoning theme as well that we've got going on right now. Is that everything? That's everything. Beautiful. Grab that. The one caveat with using um, our glass card really on items at least is we always have to have a charge of our uh, other item first, our singularity, which is kind of difficult. Where are my cursor shots doing a good job against this guy? Mars doing a, a job. It's not a good job, not a bad job, it's just a job. But we really should be using it more often because it is very strong. It's just annoying to like use and have. Y'all can't hit me. Oh, that was kind of close. You almost got me there, fella. Yeah, like, that that's pretty strong. With, with I think it's the virus that is making it as strong as it is. But we really should be using that way more actively. Very good. Very, very good. Beautiful. Look at the damage with Muramai Cursus there. Fantastic. And one last little fella. Take one of those shots. I'm surprised it's triggering so much with such low luck. Maybe it's just not tied to luck at all, which would be quite nice. Okay, pop in here. Unfortunately, you didn't give me anything. But Murray my curse will do some goodness to you. Beautiful. This will give us some charges. There you go. Should we go for a shop item? I think we should. Unfortunately, it is a bad shop item. It's a space bar item. I really don't want space bar items right now. That's going to happen from time to time. We're going to waste some charges. Here and there, it's going to happen. Yeah, let me just grab that bomb real quick. You never know, this room could give us another charge. Give us the quarter. So, for example, for the quarter... Hmm. I've got an idea. So, I don't think the quarter's a great one to do it with, though. Now nah, I'm just going to take the quarter. The quarter's fine. Oh, the quarter? That gave us a charge? Oh, picking that up. I should have I doubled it. Picking it up gave us charges. I didn't realise that we'd do that. The so singularity again in here. Are you kidding me? Another active. Go away with the active item, you shithead. I don't want actives. I've already got an active. Already got an active guard. Right, this is Mum's foot now. I think we're good to go. It's going to be a little bit slow going on the Mum fight. But we've got like Mask of Infamy and stuff, so we won't take too much damage, I don't think. Oh, we've got the Invincibility right now, too. We also should be, should be using Mars as much as we can. 
Really is. I underrate Mars a lot. It really is very good. It's especially if it could bounce you off stuff like it just did there. Like it doesn't keep you in their hitbox afterwards. Oh, the hands. Stop with the hands. Okay. Um... I think we just want to take Polaroid here. I don't think duplicating it does anything, so I'm just going to take the Polaroid. Down we go. Okay. We are on a path. So now we want to pop Singularity here. Oh, I forgot. Okay. Sing I, uh, once you're on the womb, you have to use Singularity in special rooms, otherwise it does nothing. Really hate rooms like this. Yep. You're always going to get hit there. Rooms like that, you just kind of got to accept. Accept your fit. Oh, that was bullshit. That's some fat BS right there. Okay, let's be really careful because we're taking way too much damage right now. The glass thing's not paid off yet either, which I'm pretty sad about. I was hoping we'd be able to get some good stuff out of it, but not so far. I suppose we could use actually... Wait a minute, what's, what's this? Mr. Boom. Ah, oh, I forgot active again. Right, we could actually use this room because this is technically a special room. It decharged my active though. I forgot about the blank card bug. Right, now I've got to go and do... Oh, Mars! Oh, God, I'm getting frustrated. Oh, Lord, Mars just careened me into that enemy with no regard for my safety. You do realize I didn't want to do that at all, right, Mars? Like, that's not what I wanted to do in any way, shape, or form. There's a reason people hate you, and I back up that reason. My goodness. I back up that reason with... G giant prejudice. We get Glass Eye, which is really good here, and we also get Mr. Dolly. Oh, it gives us two Black Hearts as well. That's fantastic. So this will give us boss, uh, boss room stuff. Kind of more interesting than the Cash Room stuff, though, to be honest. But the boss room stuff is stats, so maybe maybe we go for the stats instead. Mars! Mars! Stop being a dick. Right, so, we pop this. That doesn't count as a special room, does it not? Does it not? That doesn't count as a special room, does it? Thought it did? It does not. Does th this better count? That doesn't count either! What? What counts as a special room, then? I'm confused. Very confused. I thought that would have worked. It is what it is, I guess. But that has made me sad. That has made me a bit sad. I should have um, used the reflected thing on Mr. Dolly. But honestly, that wouldn't have mattered because we're taking full heart damage now, so it doesn't work the same way. Oh, look, another active that decharges blank card again, because I forgot about that again. Oh, my Lord. I keep pushing enemies into myself. If it happens one more time, I'm actually going to throw myself out of the window. If I die, I'm going to be really annoyed because I've taken a lot of bad damage that I feel a lot of it wasn't my fault. Also, what the hell counts as a special room then? I'm so confused. Okay, use our invincibility. Let's play a bit slower. We're playing a bit fast and loose right now, and it's it's buggering me up. Buggering me up is what it's doing. This is a crazy looking room. I do not like this at all. I don't like this room at all. I really wish I'd have just kept my uh, my thingy synergy now, my chariot one. That was it was a cool synergy. It worked well. I should have left it be. Oh, I hate this boss as well. And that is exactly a prime example why 
The footprints are just invisible to me. I, I don't know if it's like a color blind. I'm not color blind, but I feel like it's like a color blind thing. I just can't see the footsteps at all. People are like, hey, just just look at the, the dark patches on the ground. I can't see them. I, I genuinely cannot see them. I just guess. Okay, Devil Deal should spawn. Should spawn items. We also got two black hearts there. Very nice. Right. Singularity. That spawned an item. That's Headless Baby. Singularity, that's another item. That is the Necronomicon. Great stuff. But then we can do... But all we'd get out of this is two Headless Babies. I really don't care about two Headless Babies. God damn it, this Glass Synergy backfired so hard. I thought it was going to be so cool, and it's been useless so far. The one thing we could have used it on is the Glass Eye and the Mr. Dolly, and I forgot. Making me sad. Really thought we had something cool going on. And I squandered it. That's a good trinket. I'll take it. Yeah, these guys can't shoot me at all, can they? Honestly, though, they're going to be a pain in the ass to kill if I keep doing... If I keep standing over this, because they keep teleporting around. Do you know what? Just stand here. Come on, my dude. Get a bit closer. The moon. Fly me to the moon. Ah! Let's go back and get my glass card. I need my dark bum back. It'd be so useful right now. Oh, we got another moon card there. Damn it, I'm so annoyed at how, like, I thought this glass thing was going to be so big-brained, and it's just been terrible. <laughs> it's just been so useless so far. Thought I'd be able to duplicate some items and do some funky shenanigans. So this room doesn't count as a special room, so there's no point using it in here. I thought this counted, but obviously not. Basically impossible to not get hit there. We also gulped our trinket somehow. Do we have something that causes us to gulp trinkets? I didn't think so, but I guess the game did. Gotta remember we've still got nine lives as well to keep us going. I know it's not really that much of a consolation because we'll be on one heart the whole time, but it's something. It's something worth remembering at least. Oh. It's just this crouch is just stressful as all shit. And Mars really isn't helping when it keeps popping randomly. I did it on purpose that time, but. Hello. Sir. So, just. Ah. Didn't want to do that. Right. Just. I've got to test something. Can I get invincibility while I'm just hovering around here or not? By the looks of it, no. There's not much point. School bag? Is there any point in having multiple school bags? I don't think so. Let's just take this stuff. Okay, we've got double charge now. Oh, mum's heart's a pain in the ass. Cause she, yeah, it's really hard to kill the eyes. As you just saw. Once you've got them, though, she's, like, not too bad, because you're kind of, like, right on top of her. And you can just focus on dodging, but still. Don't walk straight towards me. You never do that. Mars, Mars, I can't believe you'd do this. Stop. I'm just making micro-adjustments to try and move and get out of the way of things. Stop being a dick. Angel deal. Okay, so. Singularity. Singularity. And then we go spacebar, and that reflects them all. And then we get 
all these. That's, I don't know if having two of them did anything, but that's pretty wacky. I like it. Beautiful. It finally worked in some way or another. I duplicated things and something happened. I'm going to have to pause real quick once we get to the next floor here. Okay, we are good to go. We are good to go. This is really cool. Also, I didn't think the golden penny would come through with us, but I'm very happy to see it come through with us. Okay, yeah, this convergence thing is kind of nutty. This is going to be good. I, I I, don't know if having two of them has done anything, but it kind of feels like it has. It feels like there's more tiers than there would normally be with this convergence item. Either way, this is incredible. This is a super, super good upgrade for us. Especially with um, Muramikosis, there's going to be even more Muramikosis shots going off everywhere. This item feels like it was made for this character. I don't know, can we... I'm, I'm still up in the air about whether we can make Mega Satan with this. It feels like it's not a good idea. Good. Check what's in here. On a chest, no thank you. Can't get any items right now anyways, that's kind of naff. I think Mars just saved my life then by accident, which is kind of nice. Wouldn't expect that to happen very often. That was just a really bad hit there. I thought that guy was dead. He was not. If you could, dude, if you could die, Red Ghost, that would be really fun. Took you long enough. Tears up. Hell yes. That's super, super, super good. I was to say I doubt this is the right, the right way, but it was. Or at least it was a way. I really like the, 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 the colour scheme of our tears going on right now. It's really pretty. Oh, it's Isaac. I didn't even realise I was in the room with him. This is a little chaotic. It's very hard to see what's going on, but luckily his tears are fairly distinct in colour. He's dying pretty quick. Ah, damn it. Really worried about my health right now. It's very, very low. I don't know if Mega Satan's a good idea, to be honest. He's not dying very quickly because he keeps teleporting away before we can get the convergence. Uh, the um, Muramikosis shots to explode. There you go. We got him. So, any of these we'd want doubles of. Not really. Does this do anything in this room? It does not. How would this play out? I always hate the, the switch swapping of everything around with this. It's really annoying. Okay. There you go. I feel like this could be really good. You know, just stop, stop enemies for four seconds, then able to charge it up during that time. Seems good. And we got poison tears on top of all this now as well, which is pretty cool. What happened there? Did, did my little dude just drop a bomb on top of me? Are you kidding? Mm. Game's out to get me right now. Game is out to get me. 
Soul heart, thank you. I masked out the way of that by accident. Thank you. Ooh, Keebum. Yeah, he's good. He, to be fair, he's not actually that bad. We should pick him up. Because he can give us uh, chests on this floor. For keys. If we get any spare. So I will take him. Join me on my adventures. Why not? Okay, that doesn't work on bosses. I thought it did. Makes it significantly more useless than I thought it would be. Yeah, it doesn't work on bosses at all. I really thought it did. <gasps> Aha. Gimme, gimme. Right, all of your sights are going to die pretty fast, sir. And your little horsey, too. Gimme, gimme. This is a wacky run. We're getting there. I think we'll at least beat Blue Baby. I don't know if um, it's going to be possible to do to do um, Mega Saiyan with this run. It's good, but we need more health. Like, the damage we're doing is really good, too. But yeah, I don't know. Feels like, feels like it could be a disaster. Actually... Do you know what? No, we should give it a go. Because we have nine lives and it'll respawn us outside of the fight. Which means if we die, we can then just end the run. So there's, there's, there's very little risk, actually, if I'm thinking about this correctly, to giving it a go. I think we should. I think we should give it a go. Obviously not now. We need to kill Blue Baby first. But that's really, really interesting to note. Do, don't do it. Put, you keep, I keep pushing enemies into myself. It's such a pain in the ass. Really can't tell what's going on. Both runs have been kind of crazy for that, to be honest. Oh my god. They're both long ones, too. They're both long ones. Okay. Should make it through without taking any damage to Blue Baby. That would be fantastic for me. I actually like bogeys now. They're green as well. It's beautiful. It really is. I don't know why I opted to spawn a trinket there, but I did. Oh, shit. I ran out of invincibility. <laughs> I thought I still had some left. Okay, so that's done now. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have very little risk in fighting Mega Satan here because it'll respawn me outside the fight with nine lives. If I'm wrong about this, then I guess big sad for me. But I'm going to try it. It also puts our portal really close to him, which is very good. Mars. Mars is going to be the actual death of me. And I don't mean in the game. I mean I'm going to rage to fuck and my heart's going to explode. It's annoying me so much. Luckily we like cover the entire screen in shots here. But does this, does this do anything? It, it slowed down his little, his little sides, but that's it. We'd have been way better off sticking with our other synergy. It was way better. These guys are taking a while to kill. I don't know why. You are going down though, sir. <laughs> we do so much damage to him because it's so close to him. Whoa, did not see that attack coming. Enemies down here are the problem. We can't really directly attack them very easily. Oh, also, our trinket doubled Keybum for this room. Great. Just get the one that chases us down. I don't care about the rest of them. Okay, that was really fast. 
That was good. But also killing his hands extremely quickly too. Then at this phase pretty quick. Just just kite you up here and you'll die very fast. In fact, just, just sit on top of that if you want. Yeah, yeah, that's really fun. It's really good for you. Very healthy. God damn, you can just literally kite them straight into their, their own demise. That's great. Beautiful. And it should be somewhat smooth sailing the rest of the way here. Went better than I expected it to. The hands die so fast. And he's pretty much into his next phase already. Okay, stop firing for a minute. I want to try and plan a little, a little ditty here. That didn't really work. Okay, no, that 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 one worked. That one worked. Just because this guy's attacks can be really problematic, I thought. Try and get that in there. Do a bunch of damage to him early. In fact, I'm going to try and do that again. Yeah, that's insane. Three Gigabombs from Broken Shell. They will do the job. And they will do it well. I was not expecting to be able to beat Negasate in this run. But we did it. Holy. Holy. Okay, things are going well on the Nuzlocke. We could go to the Void if we wanted to. I don't know if this run really has the cojones to do that. It's a good run, and we do have nine lives, but we'd have to get a lot of HP on that floor for me to be confident that we could beat him. And the problem is, we, with Delirium, he has to be standing so close to this to, for us to deal good damage. Yeah, I'm going to say no. It's, it's a... We could maybe do it, but it's too much of a risk. Let's just take the win and move on to the next episode. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.